very good day to everyone. Um, first of all, and first, of, first and foremost, the chemical released by factories into rivers, such as waste materials that can harm the water, and mostly the aquatic animals that live in it. This can also may lead to water pollution. For example, civil so disaster and deep water horizon oil spill incident that, that we can take as an example for water pollution in this world. Secondly, harmful substances like smoke and chemicals such as carbon monoxide and nitrogen dioxide are released to the environment causing health problems for people such as asthma, wheezing and also cause uh, effects for animals too. Number three, what if earth getting hotter? What does it mean? It means global warming. This phenomenon happens because of too many greenhouse gases such as chlorofluorocarbon that are released by the refrigerator and then air conditioner that we're fixing in our house. They're also trapping heat in the atmosphere, causing changes in the aspect of weather and rising, rising sea level. One of a better example for this phenomenon is glacier. Number four, one of the main ways that won't decompose for million years are plastic waste. They stay in the soil for a long time and harm animals and plants. Animals may eat them, while plant soil can be affected by the chemicals in the plastic. All in all, we should follow the three R rules. What are the three R rules? For example, reuse, reduce, and recycle. Now we are going to talk about recycle. The main one we should do is recycle. We should recycle the main ways such as aluminium, paper, glass, and also plastic. These can decrease the pollution and save our earth. 